Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L Tutoring. So this week or this previous week, we were talking about radiography. So that was our radiography topic all week to help you guys prep for the board exam. We go through mock exam questions. We go through previous classes where I talk and teach about radiography and what you have to know for the board exam. We did that all week. Um, there's a private Facebook group for members where I also post multiple times a day, just kind of little facts on radiography things you have to know for the board exam. So studying isn't so boring because I basically give you guys what to study. I tell you what to study and when to study and how to study. So it makes it a lot easier if you are going to take the board exam, whether you've taken the board exam once, twice, three times, this is your last attempt. It doesn't matter. You need to study in a very focused way so you don't get distracted. And so you don't get upset when you feel like you're not retaining any information. There is a science behind it. You know, simply just reading your textbook for two hours isn't going to help you retain that information. But if you look at mock exam questions throughout the day, if you're on the bus, you take a half an hour to look at some mock exam questions, you can do that. And then maybe that evening you listen to me teaching you for one hour all about radiography. That is going to help you study. It's more exciting and you'll feel confident in passing the board exam. But this week we are now talking about perio and gingivitis. So if you haven't joined our board exam prep class yet, it's not too late because enrollment is, is open. You can catch up anytime. Everything is recorded. If you finish a week early and you kind of say, okay, I've learned everything about perio. I feel good about it. I want to move on to the next week. You can do that. Or you can follow along with me week per week where I go through topics per week. And then we have, we have our live class typically at the end of the week or after maybe about two weeks, depending on what topic we are talking about. And then we kind of bring it all together. Very easy, focused studying. I am here to help you pass the board exam, but more importantly, how to study properly so you don't waste any of your time. If you have two hours a day to study, that's it. Because you have kids, you have a family, you work full time, maybe you're still in school. I'm going to teach you how to really maximize those two hours. If you have six hours every day to study, fantastic. You can take time off. You can take breaks. You can take days off because you are able to study more than somebody else who maybe only studies two hours a day. And I'm going to say to them, it's going to be two hours a day every day for three months. So you can really learn what you have to learn, depending on which board exam prep course you are taking. So I do have a separate one for dental hygiene students, and I have a separate one for dental assisting students, both for US, and then there's a separate one for Canada. So definitely have a look on the main website, you guys, dentalL.com. I'm going to leave the links for you guys down below too. So don't worry, it's not too late if you want to get started. Just as a little recap here, or I want to show you guys some of the things we're going to be talking about. So I have um, PowerPoint slides where I teach you everything. Notice how this is 81 slides. You do not have to learn 81 slides. I'm going to teach you what you have to know. So you don't have to study everything. I make it a lot easier for you. And then let's look at another one, shall we? So I was just going through this one, kind of prepping for that, where again, this looks like a lot, but you don't have to know all of it. I teach you guys exactly what you need to know for the board exam. So I make it easy for you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll leave the link down for you guys down below to sign up. Click like if you like this video, that would be amazing. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon.